Stampers Kim from StampingInperfection.com. Welcome to my craft room and welcome to this video in my 10 days of Thanksgiving project series. One, I didn't want to make another card, so I decided that I'm going to make a little uh, Give Thanks album. So uh, it's going to look like a card on the outside, but when you open it up, it's going to have two pockets, and I'm going to show you how I did that. So I started out with a piece of Cajun Craze. I cut it at four and a quarter by eleven and I scored it at five and a half folded it over like this then I took the second piece of Cajun Craze and I cut it in half at five and a half and with that five and a half you can see I've got two pockets here let me show you how I did that so this is this mat is cut at five and a half by four and a quarter and I don't really make this complicated. I just put it in my trimmer just like this and I line up the one corner here and one corner so that they're just lined up in the well and then I close this up and I just cut straight down like this so I have two two pieces like this. Sorry this is scrap paper. I have two pieces like this to create my pockets with. So that's how I actually created my pockets. To decorate my pocket I took the long side and I just used a piece of washi tape. This is the Color Me Autumn washi tape. And this cardstock, in case I didn't say it, is Cajun Craze. I just kind of um, you know, lined it along the edge like this. I cut off the extra. Okay, and then I took a piece of sticky, two-sided sticky tape and put it along the inside edge and the bottom edge and I'm just going to then take that and stick it to the inside of the card. And it gives you two pockets. You can use this as a gift card or um, tuck photos in it. So like this would be like perfect for a grandparent on at Thanksgiving dinner, I put this at this their place setting, and they would enjoy having pictures of their grandchildren. And if the grandchildren are old enough to write, then you can do the next part too. I've cut two pieces of very vanilla, and these are cut about um, two. Looks like two and three quarters by two, and I think it was two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Then I took these fabulous file tab edgelet dies. I took the one that has the edgelet at the, at the end like this and I cut out these two little file tabs and I stamped them using the Good Greetings stamp set. This one is free during the month of October. If you place an order of $300 or more online at mystampingstore.com you get this stamp set for free. Your choice of um, the clear photo not the photopolymer, but the um, the clear mount stamp sets, they're still rubber, or you get the wood set, like that. So the Give Thanks comes from that, and that, again, is free during the month of October with an order of $300 or more. Okay, so I just stamped those in early espresso. This is very vanilla cardstock. I'm just going to tuck them in here, and if you have little kids that can write, they can write something that they're thankful for, for their grandparents or whoever you're giving this to. Tuck a photo on the inside of that, and you've got a little photo card. So let me show you the outside. The outside is inspired by this week's Paper Craft Crew card sketch. So I'm turning it this way because I'm using it like my album. And I've got a piece of the Color Me Autumn Designer Series paper, and this is cut four and a quarter by one inch. Then I've got a little scrap of crushed curry and old olive, and I punch these out with my bitty banner punch. So I just punch those out with a bitty banner punch. Then I've got three, I took three pieces of scrap, old olive, tangelo twist, and crushed curry. These were all scraps. And I cut these out with my, this is the um, Fall Fest framelit set. You get three, or you actually get four different uh, leave images, pumpkins and a ghost. And um, so I cut those out. And I have a piece of very vanilla, and this looks like about three by four. I'm going to use this to create 
my stamps part. So I'm just going to take this and this image is coming from the Mary Everything stamp set. I'm going to stamp it in Cajun Craze on Very Vanilla. This is the Mary Everything and there is a coordinating tag punch in the holiday catalog that goes with this. So I'm just going to slide this in, line it up, punch that out. Then I have my 1 8 inch handheld circle punch. I'm going to punch a hole in the top of this, just like that. I've got a piece of crushed curry ribbon. I'm gonna, this is the 1 8 inch taffeta crushed curry. really like this little ribbon. And I'm just going to um, pull this up like this. I cut it a little bit longer than I needed, but I'll just trim it down. And I've got my linen thread. And I'm just going to tie the linen thread in a knot or a bow. Probably be a knot while I'm making a video, just like this. Now, the sketch really calls for the um, the on-film thinlets framelits, but I don't love those, so I decided to use a tag here instead because I love this. I love the tag, and I haven't really used it very much yet. I think it's a fun little product, so I wanted to give that a try. Now another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my gorgeous grunge, because the, the, the um, sketch also has a little bit of the splotch. So I'm taking this splotch from the gorgeous grunge, and I'm just going to stamp a few splotches on my background here. And I'm using Cajun Craze ink on Cajun Craze cardstock. And I just want a few. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, and now I'm going to put this together. So um, I'm going to take some, actually I think I'm going to use glue dots for this part. I'm going to put a glue dot on each of my banners, these little petite banners. Love these. There's a stamp set that goes along with this, so you could actually, if you wanted to, you could actually um, stamp something on there so that they're not plain. You could also run this through your embossing folder so it's not plain, and I'm just going to vary those a little bit just like that. Attach this to the edge. just like this and straighten out those little banners or straighten out my whole paper here. I get the paper straight first and then I'll get the banner straight. Just like that. Now I'm going to take a couple of dimensionals and add the dimensionals to the back of this. And I'm really modifying this sketch a lot because I'm not using the the on film framelits. So I'm just going to put this right here like this and then I'm just going to add some glue and put these around toward the bottom here. Just like that. Maybe I'll slide that. Oops, slide that underneath there. And um, I want to add another piece of my linen thread. I'm just going to make a little knot, trim it up, and add it with a glue dot. Just because I want to add a little something to um, the stems there. I'll put a little piece of linen thread, just like that. And then I'm going to take, and I want to add just a few more things, and that will be my candy dots. My Regals collection, and I want some Cajun Craze. The sketch actually calls for three um, embellishments 
up here by the banners like this and I really like the way that looked. I thought that was a cool touch to be added into the sketch. And hopefully these are Cajun Craze. I have a little trouble telling some of the darker reds and blues apart. There you go. And then I'm going to take my neutrals and I've got lots of these um, very vanilla color ones that are almost like whitish color. And I just want to sprinkle these around in different places. Just like that. And that completes my card for this week's Paper Craft Crew. And it also helps me create a little album that I can use for a place setting for a grandparent at Thanksgiving. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Stop on my blog at stampingimperfection.com. Sign up for my newsletter while you're there and get free tutorials emailed to your inbox. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more tips and tricks and please like this video below and share with a friend. Thanks very much for watching.